faithfulness like a song for us your endless love reaches past the skies I'm waking up to heaven It's my 
Good morning, church. We are so excited to have you in our home this morning. And uh, Angela and I just wanted to come and greet you this morning. Thank y'all so much for coming to my house this morning. I love having you here. I miss everybody's smiling faces. And most of all, I miss your hugs. The whole elbow bumping thing is just not doing it for me. I really miss the hugs and I cannot wait until we're all back in the house together as the church family that we are. So I miss you guys so much, but thank you so much for all your continued support and prayers during this time that we've been apart from each other. Ange and I really feel the support of our church family, not just with the uh, phone calls and the uh, you know social media little things, but just in, in your continued financial support as well. It's just been tremendous. And we just so excited about what God is doing and thankful, thankful, thankful in this season more than any other time for our church family. Even though we're apart, we still feel very close together. So today we're going to be talking about uh, resetting our family, resetting those important things in our life that is the foundation of family life. The first thing I would like to say is that uh, I think in this season is a great setup for success. There's a lot of negativity. There's a lot of things being said. There's a lot of things going around about how, um, you know, the difference of life is, you know, every conversation comes back to talking about uh, the virus and the pandemic. But I'd like to change the atmosphere this morning. I'd like to change the atmosphere from talking about those things to talking about the opportunity that we have in this season to maybe evaluate and look at our families and do a little resetting and, and thinking about our priorities. As I was preparing for today, the first thing that came to mind was, where do we begin? Where do we begin in resetting our priorities in our family? So what I think about what is most important, what comes to mind and, and resetting family priorities is uh, that I think about building a house. You know, we live in a house, but I think about building a house. And, and every, every house, every house is built, uh, every good house is built on a good foundation. Now, you don't see the foundation. That's not something you see when you pull up to someone's house. You don't go, oh, wow, you have a beautiful foundation. No, you say, oh, you have a gorgeous house and you see the landscape and you see, you know, the painting and the, the exterior. You see all those things and, and you see all the things that makes it make it pleasant to the eyes. But it wouldn't be very pleasant to the eyes had there not be something that you cannot see, which is the foundation that, that that's what really was what the house is built on. So the scripture tells us in Luke 6, uh, 47 says, Everyone who comes to me and hears my words and does them, I will show you what he is like. He is like a man building a house who dug deep and laid a foundation into the rock. And when the floods arose and the stream broke against the house, then it could not shake it because it had been built well or well built. But the one who hears and does not do them is like a man who built a house on the ground and without a foundation. And when the streams broke against it, immediately it fell and, and the ruin of the house was great. It's so important about the foundation. So what is our foundation? That's the question. First Corinthians 3 tells us this, For no one can lay a foundation other than that which is laid, 
which is Jesus Christ. Jesus said to Peter, and he said, on this rock, I will build my church. I will build my church on this rock. And at this very foundation, I said, what I'm going to build my church on. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I want you to think about that. Upon this rock, I'll build my church and all of hell shall not prevail against it. What rock was he talking about when he was speaking to Peter? Jesus was saying, this is the truth of who I am. And I will be the very bedrock foundation on which I will build my church. So the question that comes to mind in my house, is my house built on the foundation of Jesus Christ? I want you to ask yourself that question. As you sit in your living room this morning with your family, I want you to ask yourself the question, is my house built upon the foundation of Jesus Christ? And, and is the Word of God the very blueprint for which my house is built? There's no other blueprint. There's only one blueprint that we can build upon, and that is the Word of God. And that's the foundation that we're looking to today. I think it's so important, and I think good education is, is, is important. Uh, even today, we've been talking about school and college and all those things in our home. And I, I think good hard work ethics is so important. I, I love, I think I mentioned this last week or something, I love hardworking people. I think people who know how to work hard, I think that's so important. I'm so thankful that my dad taught us as kids how to work hard, how to, how to, how to get out and make a dollar. That's important. But in all of those things, is, is that the first priority in my life? I mean, is, is, is should hard work and, and education be more important than anything else? Well, Matthew tells us this in Matthew 16, 26. For even if you were to gain the wealth and the power of this world with everything it could offer, at the cost of your own life, what good would it be? And what could be more valuable to you than your own soul. If we gain the whole world and all of its wealth, what good is that to us? How, how, really, how valuable is that? If we lose, in the end, our own soul, we, if we forget about the most important things. So when I think about priorities and core values for our family, we must first start with laying the foundation that is built on the unmovable, the unshakable rock Christ Jesus and his word. So let's talk about reset the foundation. Reset that foundation. Ask yourself and your family, is Jesus the central focus of everything that we do? Is Jesus the center of everything that we do in our family? Do we spend time talking about the Lord and his word? Do we pray and worship together? Do we share each other's dreams and do we help one another in a time of struggle? Number two, as we talk about God's plan for our family and each individual member and how God uniquely designed each one of us differently but with purpose and how our gifts help us to strengthen one another. That's so important. It's so important that we realize that Hey, you know, in my family, my wife and I are completely opposite. I mean, we are opposite on just about everything. We have five beautiful daughters, and, and they are, they're, they're very different. They're, they're, they have different giftings, and, and they have different personalities and, and all of those things. But, but when we look at our family unit, we don't think of, you know, seven different people. And we've added to our family a son-in-law and a granddaughter, and they have different personalities. And then we have more friends that come around, and they have different personalities. And when we look at our family, we don't look at all these different personalities and, and look at that as individuals, but we look at that as a family. Why? Because as we come together as a family, as God brings us together, whether we're born into the family or we're, or we're married into the family, those gifts and those things that, that make us family strengthen one another that's so important that's so important and 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 it's so important that we talk about those things and and god's plan and what's god's plan for family and each individual member number three being present <laughs> i think it's very 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 important that we're present and i think this is every family's battle as we live in this digital 
dominated age where everybody's got uh, they got a phone, they got a, a tablet, they got TV. I mean, uh, it, you know, it's it's a battle. It's a battle to keep everybody focused, and 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 we can be in the same room with our family and not actually be present. And someone's always glued to the phone or the TV or something. You know, everyone in our family has a phone. They have a uh, this this iPhone in their hand, and 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 you know, and and you know, really at this season in our life when we're going through this this situation, these have become very handy because this is what's keeping us connected. You know, we're calling, we're we're uh, what they call it, Zoom calls, and we're FaceTiming and Marco Polo and all the social media, and that's how we're staying connected. So this is a very good tool that can bring us together, but this tool can also separate us. So it's not the tool that's in itself is evil, it's, but it's, it's learning how to balance that and not let that become so much of a part of our life that it, instead of it being something that's good, it's something that's separating us. So it could be, we could be connected through it or we could be separated through it. And, and I'm guilty. I'm guilty. I'm guilty of sitting at the table and, 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 you know, we've had dinner and we've all eat and we're sitting around the table and, you know, and I, I look across the table and, and, you know, and they're, they're chitter chatting and maybe at the, maybe even at that time they're, they're talking about something I'm not, I have to be honest, I'm not really interested in you know, dresses and, you know, fashion and whatever. And I catch myself drifting away and I've picked up my phone and I'm scrolling through the social media. And without a doubt, one of my daughters would say, hey, dad, would you like to join us? Oh, man, I forgot. I need to reset. I need to rethink. I need to put down my phone because this is the most important time of the day. It's when the family's sitting at the table together. And I need to be focused. And even when it's not my favorite subject, I need to be involved because in a few minutes, I'm going to be talking about my favorite subject and I want them to be involved in my conversation. So it's reconnecting, reconnecting. So we have to be very careful with that. So what a great time to reset and learn to detach from our devices and and connect with our family. To be intentional about family time together. Eating a meal at the table and going or maybe going on a picnic. It was so funny the other day, we, we decided to, as a family to go on a picnic. And I said, hey, you know what? Let's get out of the house for a little bit and let's go on a picnic. Let's go down to Manshack and there's this, there's this walking trail. I said, I've never been on it, but I heard about it down there. This is Nature Trail. Let's take a picnic and let's go down to the Nature Trail. So we did, of course, we didn't have a car big enough for all of us to go in. And one of the cars passed up the trail and we were waiting on them and they got there and we loaded up our little backpack and our little picnic gear and and we walked down the nature trail that was probably about two minutes long and they were like really this this is it we this we thought we was going on this hike and it's just like you know no it's not even a quarter of a mile if it's even that and but at the end of the nature trail there's this little there's this little uh at the end of the boardwalk, there was a little space, and we, we gathered there at the end of the space, and we pulled out this picnic, and we had some, and, and we, you know, swatted some mosquitoes and, and had some sandwiches, and, and it was a fun time. It was a fun time just in that little short picnic time together to, just to be together, take some pictures, and enjoy one another and be intentional. So, you know, slow down. Take a few minutes to breathe and enjoy one another. We get so busy going and doing things that we forget the most important things. And so in those moments, there's those intentional conversations. And in those moments is when life, we get to talk about life. Now, we didn't go there with an agenda, or we don't sit down sometimes with a table or agenda, But when you spend those precious moments with people, real conversations come about. Let's be intentional. Let's put down some of the stuff and and, and be intentional about how we spend life together. And then we spend an enormous amount of money. I I know this is a sticky subject what I'm about to talk about right now. We spend an enormous amount of money on entertaining our family. I mean... Disney World and vacations and all of I look I love vacations and I think we should go on vacations but we spend an enormous amount of money on vacations and and we and and we don't take time to build foundations 
We don't take time for the most important things. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not saying you should go on vacation, but I'm saying we spend all of our time and all of our money trying to entertain and the very foundation of life, the very things that matter most, are not being cared for. So uh, we need to spend some time together. You know, it's a time to talk about our faith, to talk about our fears, and how we can help each other uh, through the, the navigate through life and its difficulties, and, 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 and just heal each other's heart, hurts and, and hearts, and, and, and we all face these things. The family should be the safest place on earth. There should be no place that's safer than family. And uh, our first choice uh, to go to when we have someone, we need someone to talk to, it shouldn't be the youth pastor, nor the school teacher, nor the friend. It should be family. It should be family. I, I was just talking to someone even uh, today that was saying, the safest place is being with their family, having that place where they can sit down with family. I'm going to tell you something, how important that is. Now, listen, I know there's times that my, my girls have gone and talked to other people, and I'm okay with that. matter of fact, I've encouraged them to do that at times. But I always wanted to have an open environment where they could come and they could feel safe talking to me and their mom about the things that are going on in life. And sometimes we get so busy with life that, that I've even had my girls say, well, Dad, I just didn't really think you had time. Listen, I don't ever want to be so busy with doing all the things and providing all the needs and, and, and supplying all that stuff that I don't take the time to take time. The time to listen, time to hear, and, and, and just be present in those situations. So there's, there's some things I want to say today that, I think it's fun to reconnect. I think it's fun to celebrate the wins. I think it's fun. I think we need to learn how to affirm, encourage, and strengthen our family and say, you did a great job. Man, that was a fantastic job. You know, you, you really did well today. Oh, man, I'm really excited about, you, you know, the, 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 the grade you made on your test. Or I, I'm really excited about that, that goal that you set that you achieved. Those things are important. So let's take the time. Let's take this season of our life and let's rethink some of the things in our life and let's reset. Let's reset. Let's make some adjustments. Let's go back to the foundations, what's most important, what really matters. All these things that, that we're worried about all the time, they don't really matter. You know what? I, I love this beautiful home. It's a wonderful place. I love having our family here. But listen, I really believe this, and I, I, maybe I'm wrong, but I believe this with all my heart, that if we didn't have this house and we didn't have all these other things that we have, I believe that having your family is more important. It doesn't, it doesn't matter about all this stuff. Having that connection, having that relationship, having that place built together. So have fun. Learn to have fun. And I, I, I missed some part of here. I was talking about getting together and playing games. Listen, I don't want to go back to that because it's so good. Because my family loves, they love to sit down and play games. And, and they, 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 I'm not really a game player. But here's what I do know. That when they're having fun, I'm having fun. So I'll sit on the sidelines sometimes while they're playing. And I just get really, it really just brings joy to hear them all sitting together and praying, uh, playing and, and praying and all that stuff together. So it's good. It's good to be with family. Last thing I want to say today is let's take the time to reset, reconnect, and revive. Reset. I want you to say that with me. Reset, reconnect, and revive. So while you're sitting there right there in your living room or wherever you might be with your family, I want you to reach over and grab your family by the hand, and I want you to just pray with them. I want you to pray with them, and I, I'm going to pray for you this morning. Father, we just love you. Thank you, Lord, for this uh, amazing season that we're in right now. Thank you, Lord, for our families. Thank you, Lord, for our church family. When we talk about family, Lord, sometimes we talk about our families that we live in, but I want to just thank you, Lord, even for our church family today. And we can't wait to get back to having family reunions when we can all come together. But right now, God, 
I want us to focus on those people that are closest to us. And let's think about our foundations and let's think about what's most important in life. And let's, let's reconnect, God, with those that we love so much. I ask you, Lord, to bless every home. I pray that in this season, God, that, that when there's so many distractions, there's so many things going on, that we lay down some of those distractions, that we lean in and we rest in you, Lord Jesus. And we reconnect. We reconnect with, with first you, your word, and then with each other. And that we take the time, Lord, to reset our family unit so that we can be better together. Bless them now. In Jesus' name we pray. 